Hi, welcome to this lesson in AC circuit analysis. We're continuing to work problems in mesh currents, phasor analysis, and AC circuits. Here we have this mesh current problem. We want to solve it with mesh currents, and the problem simply states, find the current I, which is this current labeled as it's drawn in the reference direction like that. Now we have a regular voltage source over here, 33.8 volts at an angle of zero degrees. We also have a dependent current source. The value of this current is going to be 0.75 times Vx, where Vx is defined to be the voltage across the capacitor, again, oriented as it is shown on the board. These are all reference uh, directions that would be given to you in your problem statement. So um, you see here that we have Obviously, a problem, you could solve it with node voltage. There's no reason why you couldn't make this a node and this a node, write your node voltage equation, solve it, and figure out the current, of course, but we're getting practice with mesh current problems. So here we have three meshes. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. So let's go ahead and write our reference mesh current direction. So this will be uh, I sub 1, mesh current I sub 1. This will be mesh current I sub 2. This will be mesh current I sub 3. Ultimately, we're going to write three equations and three e unknowns, I1, 2, and 3, solve everything. And you can see from your drawing that since all we're trying to find is this current I, once we find the mesh currents, I1 is already in the direction that I is drawn on the board here. So once we know what I1 is, that's the same value that I is. So I1 is going to be equal to I when we get the final answer to the problem. So let's go ahead and start by writing the left-hand mesh equation, which means this left mesh right here. So we're going to walk around clockwise like this. We're going to first hit this guy. This is a voltage rise, so it's going to be negative 33.8 at an angle of zero degrees. Then we're going to encounter this impedance up here with the resistance and the inductance. And so we'll have the voltage drop that comes from I times this and I times this. And we're walking in this direction, so this will be positive voltage drops, which we write as positive numbers in our equation. So we'll have um, I1 times 1, and then we'll have I1 times J2. That's the voltage drop across this and the voltage drop across this. Now we get down to the shared branch, which is shared between I1 and I2. Since we're walking this direction, we're going to assume the current through this is going this way so that we can write our voltage drops in the normal sense. So it's going to be I1 minus I2. I1 is going this way. I2 is fighting it in the opposite direction. So what we'll have is I1 minus I2, which is fighting it, times this impedance here, which is 3 minus J5. And now all this stuff's going to equal zero because once we've gone through that leg, through this branch here, we're done. We've written down the voltage drops through here and the voltage drop through here, where this current here is uh, reference direction I1 minus I2, which is fighting it, so the net current flow is down this way, times this impedance here. 